Ooh, y'all, I got something juicy to talk about tonight. I just feel like talking. So I want you to come on in here and listen to this TikTok, especially if you are one that is going through um, something similar to what I'm about to start talking about. Now, I'm going to just jump right on into it, okay? I'm going to jump right on into it. Are you dealing with a person that is always agitated, always irritated, annoyed? They seem mad all the time. They're frowning. You know, you try to rub them the right way and they're still mad. You try to say something in the right way and they're still mad. You're trying to, you know, just, you know, lower your standard just a teeny, teeny bit and say, you know, what's the matter? Is everything okay? And they're still like, huh? Like they don't give a flying flip about you being in the room right now. All they know is that they are annoyed, they're agitated, they're annoyed, they're mad, they're frustrated, and they want you to know that they are like this. They want you to know because all of these, you know, they're showing you, they're showing you. You can see that thing on them. That's a spirit. Number one, it's a spirit on them, okay? Number two, you don't have to stay in the room. Don't stay in the room. I don't care who it is, okay? Do not put yourself through that with trying to please a person that is always agitated, annoyed, and irritated because that is a selfish person. Anybody that wants you to be, per, I mean, not be, but participate in the way that they are acting, Especially when you know you had nothing to do with what is going on with them right now. But they want you to participate in what is going on with them right now. Sort of like they want you to be like, oh, it's going to be okay or it's all right. And they're like, leave me alone or whatever, you know. Or they got these um, little mood swings about them. You have to try to kind of figure it out. Sometimes you got to walk on eggshells. No, no, do not participate. Do not participate because you don't deserve that. And if you're the one that's acting like that, you need to stop. You need to stop acting like that, okay? Okay, because it's nothing becoming about that. Now, if you're sad, you're grieving, or whatever it is you're doing, go somewhere, be by yourself, and get yourself together. You know, because hurt people hurt people. And you don't want to be the one to hurt somebody. You don't want to be the one to hurt your loved one or hurt hurt someone that is like really care about you and they're taking care of you and they're being there for you. You don't want to do that. So get yourself together. Go to God and ask him to heal your grief. Ask him to heal you, deliver you from the anger, deliver you from whatever it is going on with you. You know, because nobody deserves to be treated that way. That's my message and I approve it. Don't you take that mess from nobody. Nobody deserves to be treated that way. You know what? And I'm going to just go ahead and go all the way there. If you're in a relationship and that thing is happening to you, dismiss yourself. If you've been in that relationship for years and it's happening to you, dismiss yourself. You don't deserve that. I don't care how long you've been together. You don't deserve it. Dismiss yourself. Find yourself. Find your peace. Know who you are. <laughs> Love you. Okay? So I just wanted to give you that little piece of advice because, I mean, you know, not even in relationships. It just seems like everybody is mad. Everybody is walking around mad. When I say everybody, I mean like when I go to the store, it's somebody in there mad. When I go to work, somebody in there mad. When I go to church, somebody in there mad. It's somebody's mad. What are you mad at? We survived the whole shutdown, okay, of the world. Worldwide. We, we, we are alive. We're alive. 
And when you are alive, you need to enjoy life. You need to know that you are loved and that you are, you you know, loved. <laughs> Let me stop before I go all the way there. But I hope this has helped someone today. I hope this has helped you. Okay. Be happy. And don't let the cares of life get you so down and so, you know, make you act so mean to, to the ones that love you don't even want to be around you. Okay? All right. Have a good one. Let's do better, y'all. All right. Have a great day on purpose. Join my TikTok. Give me a heart. Make a comment. Don't say nothing bad now because I don't fight on TikTok. If this advice is good for you, take it in. If it's not, just keep on scrolling. Have a good one.